know that the keynote for the projector is success. And what the projector really has the ability to do is develop its skills for recognizing, particularly systems and people. Because without that, what they're always going to end up with without their recognition capacity, honing their skills, their developmental skills for particularly people management, they're going to end up being slaves of one kind or another because they get overwhelmed by the energy frequency field. So no other type is designed to be conditioned so deeply as the projector. This is where its recognition capacity and gift comes from. Now, everybody but the generator has an open sacral center. And if we think about it in terms of a shadow, this one category of the projectors, you're looking at them getting caught in the generative field the most. Their generative engine amplification is the most damaging. The tendency for a projector is to want to do the work themselves. So one of the th things that happens is this overzealousness, although it does plague the reflector and the manifester, not as much as the projector, because the projector is designed to focus, penetrate, and absorb, particularly into the generator. Their auras are like lock for the generator and key for the projector. So the tendency is that the projector tries to or wants to be the life force of the business when in fact you can't. Projectors as non-energy types, they're looking to help others with their success and that's where they get their just rewards in return. So the projector being able to focus, penetrate and absorb into the aura of others gives them the potential to find their spirit of success through that interactions. I put others there for a very particular reason, to call out the importance of the right others in someone's life who is a projector. Now, we are non-energy types, meaning no consistent access to manifestation or generation of energy. That means we are here to guide the manifestation and generation of energy. We can make enormous contributions to groups, small or large groups, but not all projectors are going to feel comfortable in those kind of environments because they cannot be pushed into or be handed a burden. They are going to burn out. The Projector has to learn its people skills, its management skills over time. And like any muscle, developing the muscle of management over time and giving it more and more on its plate to manage, in other words, guide or advise, is a better way of approaching how a projector is here to be successful at work. We who are projected are best served in partnership, one other person at a time. It's not healthy for us to operate alone. It just isn't. You add on to that the fact that you may have one or two or three splits in a person's design, a projector's design, then you have a person who is deeply interdependent on the other. The problem being is that I see them becoming codependent rather than the even give and take the energy exchange, which can only come if you're waiting for the correct recognition and waiting for formal invitation into the big things in life, what to do for work, where to go to live, who to love and who to bond with. This is the type that is here to know success through others. And this success is rooted in our ability to work with the right energetically healthy people for us, which has to come from that recognition capacity, which is a two-way street. Our success comes from managing people, mastering systems, mastering our human environment. So in the guidance of others, we find our way to either generate or manifest through the interactive play or dance of the Maya with the other in our communion and communication, however it is correct for us to do so. So we facilitate success through having a mastery of a system. The gift of a projector is the mastery of how systems work. The big picture view, some people are more big picture than others. So most of the time you'll find a projector working its way up through the ranks from the ground up 
to know a business inside and out and then rising up to management because they are designed to be able to get sometimes catapulted into positions of power or leadership or authority or success, depending upon what their specific design is. They really need to be able to do the job first or experience it first in order to know that business that system like the back of their hand so that they can manage or guide or advise other people in it. So through the process of studying it, mastering it, they have to understand the responsibilities. Ideally, the role of a projector is to be able to be the advisor who can guide, direct words from raw, the advisor who can guide. And so they're guiding the use of energy, particularly the generative auric frequency field that is here to build the world. Projector and generator work hand in hand. It's one of the most productive relationships that you can have. And this is the fundamental truth of what they are. Being a projector in relational dynamic with lots of generators over not only my life, but my career, I can attest from experience, particularly when you're working with the right people, how very life-giving and life-affirming that relationship can be. And when you're not working with the right people, how very embittering and painful that incorrectness or misaligned interaction can be. Now, ideally, projectors are here to guide one person at a time. They're here to help others succeed one person at a time. The reason for that is their aura can only focus and penetrate and absorb one person person at a time, even if they happen to be somebody like me who has the role in a group that is able to hold some position of leadership. So the fact is, is that as a projector, you're automatically equipped for management, quote unquote raw. Now, that's not to say there is an entitlement to the way in which you're here to interface with others. You've got to be able to learn from the ground up and we could say earn or build that trusted support and respect between you and the other because they recognize your system's mastery. That's the whole thing to understand about projectors and the way that they're here to be. So when you're dealing with a projector, you're looking at somebody who needs to be focused on study and education. You add that to a first line quality, either the way that they're personally or bodily designed to function. Now you have some really strong repeating patterns of somebody who has to be able to get in on the ground floor and work their way up always with an eye for management skills, people skills, soft skills. So you see them in a lot of careers that from astrology to psychology, you know, any kind of management, you're looking at people who love systems. I mean, like kid in a candy store when it comes to different kinds of systems of understanding people particularly. That's not to say that all projectors are great at people skills. Sometimes they might be completely antisocial and they're really into some particular way of understanding the world, okay? And that's all right too. But whether they ever become good managers or not, focusing them on their interdependent people skills is something that's gonna be of great value and benefit to a projector because it's one of the most important attributes that a projector has, particularly when it comes to the successful functionality of any business or organization or team as a whole. So the projectors who are involved in the business or career world, this is always a good opportunity when you see them to help encourage them, recognize them, and help them foster or develop their talent in whatever it is that lights you up inside, be it business or babies or cake making or bookkeeping, it doesn't matter. That thing that you could study that engages, captures not only your interests, but your passion, your aliveness, your vitality, what you recognize that you can master, the thing, I used to call it the thing that you could do all day, you know, as far as your energy availability. Nah, maybe overdoing it a little bit with this focused and penetrating auric frequency field. It's so easy to recognize a projector who's not operating in alignment because they feel really uncomfortable when they're trying to get in there and, and know who you are. It can feel like you're being violated by a projector who's like just 
asking you questions. Interrogated is another way that it can show up. Really uncomfortable. The projector, when it doesn't know when enough is enough, can be invasive, you could say. Almost like a parasite, like just hooking in and grabbing on and not letting go. And they've got to get really careful about who they're interacting with and when, right? Timing is everything for the focus penetrating, absorbing aura to engage or investigate. The way that a projector is designed to focus, penetrate, and absorb is in these one-on-one -on -one situations deep into the other being. So part of this is the way in which the projector is here to access energy or to be able to guide the energy because they're non-energy types, even though they might still have energy centers, being a non-energy type means that the consistent access to the generation of energy is not there alone, nor the manifestation of energy. And even if you are connected up with another projector like yourself, to undefined sacral center beings coming together do not make a generator nor manifesting generator. It's like comparing a motorboat to a jet airplane. It's just not the same. So what this kind of design gives you is a very special advantage where your ability to focus, penetrate, and absorb into the other leads to your potential capacity to be able to recognize aspects or qualities about the other that can be encouraged, that can be nurtured, that can be supported, empowered, shared, protected, that can be advantaged or leveraged or taken advantage of. Now, the real crux of the matter is a projector that is unaware tends to take on the other person's energy and identify with it as self rather than being clearly in recognition of what's mine and what's theirs, what's ours and what's theirs. And so when you overdo it by using up their energy or amplifying and in distortion, um, burning yourself out or running down many different paths that are actually not correct for you, you do damage to your physical body, especially to your form principle. So that's why Ra would say to the projectors, be the guide. Do not accept anything less than a formal invitation to the big things in life. This aura is designed to absorb. It has no filter when it's absorbent of the other person. And that's why it's so important to discern. So not only do you take energy in through your focus, your availability, this keeps you in an incredibly vulnerable state vulnerable because you are focused in and you're penetrating and you're just hanging on. And there's that vulnerability of taking on the other. When is it correct for you to hang on or to hold on? Sometimes we don't know when to let go. Sometimes through letting the mind run the show, you take on other people's ambitions or their promises and you think you have to do the work all by yourself and you get overzealous and you burn yourself out rather than facilitating other people's success. And it might be, again, multiple systems that you study in order to master. Whatever it is that you're going to be successful with, it's going to lead you to be an alpha. And an alpha is not telling other people what to do. An alpha, like the flywheel of success, the hub and the spokes of the wheel are what really uh, move us in our journey to success. Again, working one-on-one, -on -one. even if you're like Lavina and you have uh, the role of interaction in a group as a potential or a possibility. Now, I'll tell you, in guiding and advising lots and lots of projectors over the years, teaching, coaching, consulting, mentoring... What we have noticed, those of us who are identity to throat business, as in the witness, inspiration, or alpha channels, is that we do notice there is more energy when we are in our small group of three to five people. So it is something that we can get locked into and trapped by if we are not careful. So it is about, again, your authoritative process and discerning who are the right others for you to guide, what context. We do make the ideal alpha because this is the fulfillment of our purpose to guide, but it's not about operating alone. We are either gonna be best in partnership, 
or it's going to be the penta, but it's not going to be about us as a projector doing everything all by our lonesome. That is the quickest path to burnout I can think of. So now the projector finds spirit through success. If we're in charge of a group, we can operate through a chain of command. That's the best way for a projector to operate, whether you're in the big group or a small group, operate through a chain of command. So if we ask the right questions of the generator, then we have the right proper chain of command in place. We can call it, to use a technical term, lines of communication in a large business. What happens is we can be the most effective leaders in Alphas because we're not doing all the work. We are delegating, not micromanaging. We have the capability to develop a deep invisibility in the business, as in leading with such a smooth hand that it doesn't seem like we're doing anything. And indeed, it's kind of a fun thing to witness to see that happening. Now, the projector's key to success, that's what we're here for, after all, to know success. Success is the theme. It's not peace. It's not satisfaction. It's not surprise. The way about our success is to help other people get facilitated in their success, in their satisfaction, in their peace, and their surprise. So, the success comes or the material component comes through guiding the other. And without success, there's only bitterness. And that's a resentful thing for the energy projectors as far as having any of these motors running in their design. So in terms of a projector and its management capacity or relational dynamic with its employees, its colleagues, its contractors, whatever the case may be, it's very important that the relationship invites us in to do certain things, as in, here's the contract, here's the role. It doesn't require the same kind of response mechanism that a generator would have. This is very different. So... In other words, a generator says that as the employee, I'm going to give you all the responsibility and you get the go-ahead from me so that I can respond to it. Whereas in a projector sense, the way the projector leads is that they lead through invitation and it's necessary for us to invite our group to do and members of the group to act upon certain things or have freedom of action to do certain things. This is the way that we are designed to function healthfully.